Hello, here's a really simple way that you can edit your WooCommerce category pages. It's a really common question I get, so I'm going to show you how you can take your category pages that you've um, in WooCommerce to the next level. So here's one I've built earlier, and this features some really cool stuff like this lovely full width parallax image at the top here with some text in it. I've got a testimonial running here, and then further on down here I've got this beautiful product grid of my products of type men in this instance. So this is the default WooCommerce category page and you can't edit it by default, which is a big problem for a lot of people because everyone's Woo WooCommerce pages tend to look the same. Your category pages are created dynamically by WooCommerce, but often uh, it's a very important page for you so you wanna be able to edit it. So here's a really simple way that you can do that. And there are just two steps to do it. The first step is you create a brand new page, you design it however you like so you, you've got complete freedom how you lay out your category page. This is the one I built. I'm going to show you how I did this. That's the first step. And then the second step is you're going to create a redirect from your default WooCommerce category page uh, link, which is created dynamically for you by WooCommerce to your new page. There's no coding in involved whatsoever. It's incredibly simple to do and you'll end up with far more effective um, category pages and you'll increase sales. So the, here's how you do it. Okay, so this is the page I want to edit, but you'll see I can't at the moment because it's a dynamic page. If I click on edit category at the top here, it helps me not at all. Um, so, but I want to I want to create a customized version, a bit like I've done for the men's category. So let's go off and do it. So there's just two steps, as I said. I'm going to create the page and then I'm going to set up the redirect. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to go add new page at the top here. I'm going to give it a title. This is just so um, I can recognize it. And then I start building my page. Now I'm going to work really quickly here. You would obviously take much more time over this page, but hopefully you can see that the beauty of this is that you can just use the, the WordPress editor to build out your category page. Now I'm going to just create um, a nice parallax under here using the Caxton layout block. I'm going to work really quickly um, because hopefully you'll see what I'm doing here. Now with this this block here, we can do we can do cute stuff like we can uh, make it a parallax and we can change the layout down here to be. Uh, full width and I can add some padding in here and at the bottom as well so you see now I could add some text in here but I, I want just want to work quickly so you can see this then underneath there I'm going to add my um, testimonial block again this is a third party block super easy to use and customize then further on down here I'm just going to use the Caxton layout block to add some column content in now on, on the other category page I added some titles above here but I'm going to work more quickly now, this is where it gets more interesting, potentially. Under here, I'm going to use the Storefront Blocks plugin to bring in my products by category. Now, we've got different ways that we can display these, which is what's great about Storefront Blocks. I could bring sliders in or masonry grids, but I'm going to use the Product Square Grid, and that will load my products in. And then all I need to do over here is select my products by category, which in this instance is women. So I'm going to select that as the category. And again, in layout here, I can do cute stuff like I, I, I can change the grid gap. See that? So these are all you know really customizable. So if you want no gap, you can just do that. So you can create this really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pages very, very quickly. And I could go on customizing this page to my heart's content if I wanted to. But I'm happy. So I'm just going to publish that. And let's go and check it out. And there's my new page. Okay. And that's looking... That's looking pretty good. Now at the moment it won't be your um, it won't be working because it won't link to your category page. You'll see if I click on this. Uh, this is still showing once it loads. That's still showing my default WooCommerce category page. It's not actually linking to the correct page at the moment. So that's the second step. I need to set up the redirect that's going to redirect redirect the uh, page that WooCommerce is the link that WooCommerce has created for me automatically to my brand new page. And we're going to use the rank math. SEO plugin to do it. So let's go and do that now. So you're just going to need two things. You're going to need the, the link of your existing dynamic WooCommerce page, which I've grabbed at the top there, and you're going to need the link to your new page, and you're going to point this link here to your new one. And let's go and do that. So to do that, I go to my dashboard, I go to Rank Maths, and then I'm going to go to the dashboard here. Sorry, and then I'm going to go to Redirections. This is where I set up my redirect. Now at the moment there's my existing one, so I'm going to go add new redirect. And this is my source URL, which is, let's just go back and show you that. That's my source URL. Okay, and actually all you need for your source URL is that extension after your actual domain name. So that's what we're interested in. Pop that into the source URL there. And then we want the destination URL, which in our instance is our brand new page that we created. So let's just go and get that. 
Okay, so there's my, the page I created. I'm just gonna go view page and just copy that URL there. That's what we're after. That's the page that we want the old link to, to link to, to point to. And there we go. So there's my old, there's the dynamic one and that's now linking to my brand new one. You can leave these all alone, these are all fine. Add the redirection and we're done. So now when we go back to our page and click on women, you'll see that the brand new page is showing. So I've created a fully customized uh, WooCommerce category page and it's super easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave the comments in, um, below and I'll help you out. But thanks very much for watching.